three, two, one. Uh, good afternoon from Philadelphia, where Maryland takes the loss 20 to 17 to Temple. I'm Wayne Viner. This is young Turf Jordan. He should be at the NDSU game, but because of some travel snafus, we're not in Delaware, we're in Philadelphia. We came to see the Turps win. Didn't happen today, Jordan. Yeah. I've never seen a game where you, I don't know, actually, you blew three chances to win the game in the last 10 minutes. So really good, high quality chances. Well, when DJ Turner did not return that punch for a touchdown, he ended up about right there on the seven yard line going out of bounds in that area. So they're not going to score. I've seen too many of these games in my life that you know when you have a problem getting the ball in. So the game didn't end there. Maryland gets another shot. A 10-yard punt. Did you think Maryland had it at that I point? I mean, they had. It felt two ways in my head. Like one, they have to have it, right? Like you don't get two chances like this and blow it. But my other chance was it was just the Maryland fan in me saying, "But of course they are, because they always lose this game." And once again, despite the efforts of McFarland, despite the great defense, Javon Leak, Temple plays it Philly tough. They take down the Terps. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show, live from the link today. Maryland Falls 20 to 17. We'll be back in a moment. In coming to the Jack Litch uh, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly, and I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the big dogs, the Jack Lynch Law Group. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Back at the link, Bruce is in the studio, Mason down in Jacksonville, it's Wayne, it's Jordan. You guys have been talking a lot about the resurgence of Maryland. A lot of it's been on the offensive side on the Young Terps podcast. What do you think of the defense today? The defense did great. It did its job in the best way it could have, really, with given circumstances. Although, of course, when you talk about the defense, it's hard to not talk about Tino Ellis' penalties on the last drive. They, they really, I felt like they really blew it on that. Well, Tino Ellis gave up a few big passes. He got more holding and interference penalties than usual. I don't know what to say about that. Maryland didn't have as much pressure on Russo as they did last week on Tommy DeVito. I thought Maryland was going to be able to bring more pressure, but then I saw some tweets from uh, your Trey Watsons and those guys who played here said, is Maryland always going to be in cover zero? They realize the corners are hung out to dry. If the pressure doesn't get there, these big plays happen. Yeah, and it did happen. There was the 179 yard touchdown, but Temple really only had some big plays. They didn't have consistently good offense. They also had really bad special teams. It's just Maryland could not take advantage when they had the ball. Yeah, they, they just couldn't. So in 12 days, 11, 13 days, 13 days and a night, it'll be Penn State in College Park. You win that game, you forget about this one. You lose that game, you're two and two. Puts a little more pressure on beating Penn State. That's gonna be our hashtag for now and forever, beat Penn State. Uh, you're not gonna to get to see that, you're gonna watch it on the big, it's on Fox, right? It's on FS1. FS1, so if you can't get to College Park, watch it on FS1. Like to thank our sponsors, Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville. Of course, Viner Four Gates, your place for Terrapin IT. If you need a network, if you need a better website, call Viner Four Gates. You can reach them at 301-251-2900. And of course, thanks to Rick Jacklich. We will see you on the radio, Trip Talk, Wednesday night on 1300 CBS Sports Radio. But that's it for today. From the link, Maryland Falls 20 to 17. Disappointment abounds. What can you do? All you can do is win the next one. Good afternoon.